Beautiful Degrassi fans, we got a full house here today because it is Degrassi Friday and we got Shanice and Jacob and Belinda hanging out today. Uh, we talked about tonight's episode, tune in, it's at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific, right here on Much Music. But I asked everything I wanted to know and now we've got lots of people here who have pressing questions. They can ask you guys anything they want. Are you ready for this? Anything. All right, it's Degrassi Town Hall. Who's up first? Introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Sophie. I'm a huge fan of Degrassi. And my question is, what was the hardest part about filming last week's episode? For me, the hardest part is Dylan Everett and I have worked together on both How to Be Indie and on Degrassi. So when he was cast in this show, I was so happy to have my little brother on set every single day. Um, and to get to work with him in scenes specifically was fun. So it was more a personal thing um, to have him not be on set anymore because that was, you know, a joy of my day was seeing him there. And now he's, you know, permanently gone unless he's going to be coming back like JT's ghost. But uh, unless that happens, then bye-bye, Dylan. Well, that could happen. Yeah, it could happen. You guys... I thought it was a bit, like, at first when, like, in the read-through and we found out, like, obviously, like, we want to spend more time with Dylan because he's, like, a great dude and I worked with him before, but uh, I was also kind of excited in the read-through and looking forward to see how he would, like, handle that storyline because he's a great actor and I was just looking forward to seeing how everyone would work around this storyline, so I really was looking forward to that. Definitely, yeah. The, the best part about it was watching everyone do their scenes and, you know, me not being in that scene or something. I know watching Demetrius, that was... Just watching him, you know, was amazing. So I think all the actors did a phenomenal job, and I think it was a great episode. It turned out fabulous. I well, yeah, and as sad as it is for the audience to watch, it's also challenging for you guys as actors. So it's like a good, it's a good thing to do. Okay, who's next? We got time for a couple more. Hi, my name's Shanika, and I want to know how was the process of auditioning for the show Degrassi alone? Any interesting? Oh, that was a while back for me. <laughs> um, that was in 2008, and I lived in Ottawa at the time, so. I think I got noticed like a couple hours before that I had to be in Toronto so my dad and I drove down and I was a huge fan of the show before um, being cast on it so even just seeing the building and getting the audition was like my life is made. I uh, did the audition probably honestly the worst audition of my life because I was so excited um, but I guess it, it worked out and that was it worked out. <laughs> yeah. And now you won a Canadian Screen Award for yeah. it so there you go. Woo! What about you guys? Thank was you. it easy, hard? Um, my, my audition was kind of like normal, I could do the first one and the second one, and like I felt good about it, like got a few laughs, and then right after my agent called me, she was like, like they really liked you and everything, but we gotta wait the weekend until it's official, so that weekend was like torture, just waiting till Monday yeah. to see if it would come out of it, so. Well, I was really nervous, I mean, it was my third audition ever, oh, wow. so I was like, ah, I don't think I'm gonna get this, but um, it was good, it was really like, chills inside wasn't too bad as i thought so it was great and then i got it got a call a couple days later i was working at a grocery store and everyone got free bags that day like yeah i just like go oh, yeah free bags like you know not the five cents thing so it, i was really happy was what really gro happy. which grocery store no frills <laughs> yeah. okay let's take one more degrassi fan question hi everyone my name's amanda and i'm a huge fan of degrassi um, Melinda, I was just wondering, out of Ali's mistakes, which one do you think helped her grow the most as a person? For me personally? Uh, or the character? Oh, I think she learned over the years that boys aren't necessarily her number one priority and that maybe she should focus on school and also to take the high road because, you know, there was lots of times where, you know, a boy would have maybe cheated on her and then she thought it'd be a good idea to prostitute or something. So, um... <laughs> I think, you know, six seasons later, hopefully, I don't know what's coming up, but hopefully she's learned. But knowing Ali, she will not have learned. <laughs> That's interesting. You guys have been on the show for a while, so you had your big life lesson. I feel like Mo needs his big life lesson. It's still to come. Yeah, yeah? I, guess, I guess I guess the life lesson is the in big, progress. You need yeah. the big thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mo, Mo kind of just takes it day by day <laughs> yeah. and just fig figures stuff out <laughs> as we go. Okay, well, tune in for a new episode of Degrassi tonight on Much 9 Easter. Six we have the premiere of a brand new video from Nelly, the Nelly. This one's called Hey Portia here on New Music Live.